What it do, Rasa? Temo, Temo Excel, Tony Bucks coming at you with a reaction video of uh, Lopez versus Cambozos. Uh, shocked, shocked at the outcome, but not as shocked because you know what I mean. Uh, um, Cambozos was mandatory for a reason. Mandatory for a reason, so you know he he came more well prepared than than the champ because. He took, he snatched them belts off of Lopez's hands, bro. Like Lopez, Lopez came in shape, uh, in physical shape. Who knows how, uh, how he was mentally, but there can be no excuses. Cambos came in there and and snatched the belts, snatched the belts off his hands. Like now, now what is he gonna do? Like he doesn't have no, no power to demand no fight now. Uh, you know what I mean? He didn't even accomplish being undisputed. Like he totally proved me wrong and, and and all that. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's boxing. It happens. Uh, hopefully he can just get back on track. You know, either by staying at one thirty five or moving up to one forty. But I mean now now uh now Cambosos holds the the keys to to 135 division uh and let's see what he's going to do so so uh you know it was crazy it was crazy uh it started off you know with Lopez coming straight at him like you know he wanted to take him out but he just couldn't and he threw everything at Cambosos like but and and when he was close to taking him out, you know he he would just survive. He survived then, and, and he did enough. Combos did enough to take that dub because Tio couldn't take him out of there. Uh, I just I I don't get I don't I don't get it why I really thought he was elite. You know what I mean? Uh, but I mean it happens. You know you can't win them all, and. And Cambos beat the man who beat the man, so now uh, it's it's up to Cambosos to do his part. And if you know that's unifying the the rest of the belts with the real WBC to crown a, a one undisputed, uh, assuming assuming uh, Haney beats JoJo, or if JoJo beats uh, Haney, as you've seen, uh, we all thought. Uh, Lopez was gonna be Cambos with these, but hell nah, he shut us up real quick. Like, Cam, I couldn't believe it. Like, I'm like, damn, you know. But I was just, I was just saying, like, dang, like, uh, Lopez, you need to do something, homie, because you getting school, you getting messed up. Like, you saw how bloody he was. He got his eyebrow cut up, and and all that, like. I don't know, bro. Like, I need to, I need to rewatch that fight. But Cambosos, Cambosos came to win, you know. As he's been doing, uh, as he's been doing, like traveling to all these countries, going to these fighters' backyards, and he came, he came to the U.S. and went to New York with all Lopez's fans, and and took the belts from him. Took the bells for him, shut him and his dad up, like, you know, cause, cause there was there was going off the gums like hard, like, they were acting like if they had won the fight already without even stepping in the ring, but y'all seen what it was like. Cambos wasn't no punk, like, he gave it to Lopez for real, fuck, like, and you gotta you gotta give him his props, you know, like, uh. It was it was a close fight for sure, you know, but uh, I don't know why they didn't uh, didn't put in the contract for a rematch clause. Cause I mean it was a real close fight. Uh, but I think uh, it's not that I think is that those uh, those knockdowns that that Camosas got on Lopez, you know, those were the deal breakers. Like that's what gave him the dub, uh, and and Lopez like. He just he just underestimated Cambos for sure, you know. So, I mean, he's a young cat. He has a lot to learn. He 
he'll be champ again for sure. So, you know, he just needs to uh, understand that he can't underestimate his his opponent because, I mean, y'all saw what happened. Like, they they took they took they took those belts from him. They took those belts from him. So now he ain't got nothing now. Now he better he better get his hunger up because uh, if he goes to 140, you know, there's some there's some good fighters right there or 47 or whatever he's gonna do. But Cambosis snatched them belts. Now he's the man to beat at 135, uh, and you know hopefully hopefully uh, he tries the they try to go for the undisputed uh, versus the winner out of. Uh, Haney versus Jojo and uh, and you can't count like you know obviously we were counting uh, Cambosos out you cannot count nobody out so I mean especially not Jojo because you know the that guy's been an Olympian and he's pretty skilled too so uh, they they uh, better watch out uh, of not ruining that, that fight but other than that, you know what I'm saying? Like, entertaining, entertaining fight. Uh, I I liked it. So, uh, you know, as well as all the other rest of the boxing world. So, you know, as, as long as we can keep getting good fights and, and trying to unify all these belts to only have one, you know, since there's so many, that's the way to go. So, every fighter should should just try to unify if if they can, uh, you know that's gonna make the sport better. So I think that's dope. You know, hopefully, hopefully Cambos uh, tries to unify uh, the undisputed uh, number one guy at at 135 uh, uh, out of Haney Jojo. So you know, waiting for that. But but yeah, that was that's just my thoughts on on Lopez. Uh, he just tried to be more humble. And you know, next time not underestimate your opponent, cause you see what happened. Like, you end up you end up losing, or, or you end up like, I don't know, thinking you're too better than, than the fighter without actually being in there. You know, like, that that plays in your head. Like, you thinking it's gonna be easy, and it's not. Like, you gotta you gotta train more, more than anything to, to come out victorious. So. Uh, lesson learned, you know, not to underestimate your opponent. Uh, you know, because, because I mean, the Lomo fight was pretty close too, but I mean, uh, he just didn't do enough to, to win this one and, and he got beat. So, so hopefully he comes back stronger and hopefully, you know, good luck to Cambosos, uh, in his, in his career now. Uh, it's a mystery because there's still so many top guys at at 135. So you know, uh, we have Devin Haney, Jojo, we have uh, Ryan Garcia, Tank if he if he ever fights at 135, Shakur Stevenson, uh, people Cruz. You know, it's just it's just a lot of talent there. So so let's see what happens. But congrats to Cambosos, you know, making his people proud and. Uh, the Australians and and hopefully you know we get a uh, good fight but yeah man uh, even though uh, Lopez lost it should be a learning experience and he'll be back you know he'll be champ again for sure but he just he needs to learn to not underestimate his opponents and future opponents and and he'll be back man uh, he's a real talented dude and you know, as long as they can stay humble and all that, like, God will continue to bless them and all that. But, yeah, that that's going to end it. Uh, until the next video, uh, Tony Bugs, the Moe, Excel, Yasala, we out.